I'm in a video of this whole thing, so everybody knows. Y'all are on video. I'm on Instagram Live right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't you got a Just flash on? I do. We need to get rid of that, probably. What do you think? Yeah. Video with flash, you don't do that, do you? No. I'll say all cell phones go in a bucket. About in the backyard. <laughs> all cell phones. How do you turn that flash off? Do, yeah. do you have iPhone? No. Here, I do. I, I probably. She, she knows how. She's good at that. iPhone is almost, is always the most unpopular phone. And I need something done. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. that, we need to get rid of that light. I don't know how to do that, baby. Okay, it went off. Came back on. Okay. All right. I got it. This is cool, y'all. <laughs> I mean, tomorrow it's going to be freezing cold, so it worked out. We have perfect temperature to get ready for this. Yeah. The last couple of days has been beautiful. And now here we are. Yes. The old game. Yes, and most of y'all were um, are, are Troy, Troy Springs. Yeah, they all are. Uh, <laughs> okay, and your mom's name is Jay. 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 Yeah. Here, I saved your seat. Thank you. I got you back. I got you back. This is Troy's mother just being seated. You're cracking. Watch your crack. All right. Now you slow down. There's the lovely bride, Heather Thornton, to be Heather Spencer. Oh, oh, I don't know what we're doing. Okay. Who giveth this woman to wed? Our dad and I. Okay. Yes. Do I hold this all done? You you can hold it for <laughs> Sorry, a few minutes and then we'll have hold you it. hold hands. I'll let you okay. know. I'll right. make it easy on you. I'll give you, I'll give you instructions. Okay. okay. <laughs> We're so happy that everyone is gathered here this evening. And we are so thrilled <laughs> for Troy and Heather. Our, this, Heather is our baby daughter. And we are so excited about this moment, and we are thankful that all of you are here to share it with us. And I'd like for us at this time to just bow our heads and we'll have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are love, and love comes from you. And the word of the Lord tells us that no person ever loves enough that they would give their life for their friends. It's very rare, but you did give your life for us, and we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for Heather and Troy, and we pray, God, that you would just bless this ceremony and bless this wedding and put your favor on it, and I know that you are. We ask this in Jesus' name, and everybody say amen. 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 And here I am without a light. <clears throat> And I don't really have my glasses, glasses? on. Do you because, need somebody to go and grab Because I don't have light. So. Oh, okay. But in the Song of Solomon, the third chapter, uh, which is the Old Testament, Song of Solomon, Solomon would be um, Solomon would be David's son. And so Solomon is now king. And Solomon says here in the fourth verse that his soul, I like, I like soul, don't y'all? <laughs> it says that his soul has found the one in whom he loves. And so, uh, Renee mentioned reading this yesterday, and I think it's so appropriate. Um, Heather has a lot of soul, <laughs> and uh, Troy has a lot of soul. And... I'm so thankful that they both 
love with their soul. <laughs> they have found the one that their soul desires. So, it's amazing to me how that God can take us through time and we want to think of this beautiful setting and this beautiful home and this back porch as it's like a movie setting in my opinion. It's like a movie happening. But life is, uh, if we're blessed, it's longer than a movie. And we all know that movies are reduced down very quickly. But I feel like we're in a movie setting this evening and I remind myself and my mind goes back to uh, us living in Matthews, North Carolina, Indian Trail area and all this beautiful area. And I remember Renee and I, we had been in ministry for several years and we were seeking for a city that our soul would fall in love with, a town, and it was Matthews, I can remember. Renee sitting in the back seat and I was in the front seat on the passenger side and I turned around looked at Renee and tears were in my eyes and I said, this is the town. Uh, and so Heather was four and Heather grew up with a lot of you all. And <laughs> we, we have loved this town, we love this region, we love this area with our whole soul actually. And so uh, as life uh, brings us changes, as it does through cancer or through some traumatic experiences, we all ended up uh, moving away from here in the early part of 01. But Heather never got Matthews and Indian Trail and Charlotte out of her soul. It never left her soul. Every time that Heather would have good times, and every time that Heather would have bad times, she would start talking about Charlotte, and she would start talking about Matthews, and she would start talking about North Carolina. That's my home, baby. North Carolina is my home. And so uh, Heather came out here a few months ago, and we were very excited about that, and then uh, find out that she's with a wonderful gentleman, a young man, uh, a good man, uh, a solid man, comes from great parents, um, no matter what Troy Senior says, <laughs> we think the world of him even though he's a Jersey guy, <laughs> but we're so extremely grateful that, uh, that this wonderful opportunity, this wonderful ceremony, this wonderful wedding, this wonderful story of love uh, began to develop and it began to happen. And what it did was it brought this opportunity of this day where Amanda, the oldest, Heather's sister, <laughs> is here. And to have Amanda here, and thank you, Amanda, for decorating so much. And to have Amanda here, and then to have Renee here, Heather and Amanda's mom. Uh, and then for me to be here, and then Donna, my wife, and then all of you that are, that are school friends on up. It just really, uh, Catherine, oh my, she's one of our family, basically. Uh, she stayed in our home for a couple of years. Uh, to, to have all of us together for this occasion, about a month ago, uh, Troy and Heather, he was such a gentleman, and he was like, I want to ask uh, your dad, you know, for Heather's hand. And so uh, when, when I began to get to know him a little bit and visit with him, such a nice gentleman and such a great guy. And so... Uh, you know, we just thought about, uh, they threw different things out there, you know, go to the courthouse and go to the justice of the peace and that kind of thing. And, and there would have been nothing wrong with that, right? It, but, but I said, now Heather, I can perform the ceremony well, and, and, and then we can all get our family out there, maybe. And I, we hadn't checked with the man at that time. And so what I'm trying to tell you people, you lovely people, is that it all came together. And it all fits. 
And love can give you experiences and pain at the same time. But love, the Bible says, conquers all emotions. And love conquers all things. Yes. And then love brought us all back together. And we're so excited that now all of our family, we have a reason to come back to Matthew's North Carolina. <laughs> and we can always live with Troy. <laughs> that part's a joke. Troy's like, I'm ready for you. Yeah, Troy's like, he's already ready for us to leave. <laughs> Amen. So that's just beautiful. You know, we came here to serve those years ago, and that's been 31 years ago. And what blows my mind, you all, if we, I can be a little informal for just a little longer, is, is just a couple of hills over from here. There on Trade Street is the church that Renee and I started with no people and no money. And uh, then... Uh, people begin to come and it began to grow and we eventually was, was able to build that church. Now, because of our moving, we sold that church and paid the church off so that we would not have any debt at all and left money in the savings of that church and they were able to buy another property there at the Menil Matthews Circle, Abundant Life is the name of it now. But I think if we hadn't have been willing to serve Renee, uh, we would have never been in Matthews and Indian Trail, North Carolina, and Heather would have never gone to school with Troy. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. And, and then they were in the eighth grade. And, and, and I'm going to tell off on Troy just a little bit, because Troy confessed to me back a little bit ago. He said, uh, I had a crush on Heather in the eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just thought that was great. And and then uh, in uh, the, the, the vision box, what do you call that, George? Vision board. In your phone, he's got uh, a few things there that he's desiring about four years ago. And one was have a nice lady, a nice wife. And uh, by the way, he put Heather's picture on that vision board. Four years ago. Four years ago. That's crazy. I want to tell you all another layer of this that I believe you're going to enjoy. And then I'm going to use some more Bible and tie this up. And then we're going to do the, uh, the, the ring ceremony part of it and all of that. But uh, Troy's mother, isn't she lovely? Mm -hmm. uh, Gail Lynn? Mm -hmm. Gail Lynn? Mm -hmm. she, she, <laughs> she ends up being a very distant relative of my grandmother. So her grandmother. No, like we're not kin, way, okay? Way, it's way, 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 way back. Heather Thank doesn't you. want y'all to think that they're, they're related. That they're <laughs> and so not. But I thought it was a cool wrapping as well that that my family, my grandmother, my dad's mom came out of Leesville, which is about uh, 20 miles north of DeRitter. And, and uh, Miss Spencer was raised in DeRitter. I just thought that was so cool. And then Renee was from Shreveport, which is just on up about 50 miles from that. So West Louisiana to Matthews, North Carolina, and it just feels so cool and so awesome. And this is when there's usually a song, but there's no song. <laughs> so we will go into another part that's just a beautiful part as well. Uh, the, the, the Word of the Lord shares a story, and I'm only going to hit the highlights of, about, of, uh, of, uh, of Ruth. It's in the book of Ruth, actually, in the Old Testament. And Ruth became part of this family through a marriage. Ruth was a person that lived far away, that grew up in a faraway land from Naomi and her family that she was to take on, but but Ruth ends up marrying a wonderful man called Boaz, and you can read this story in the book of Ruth, and I encourage you to, Troy and Heather. It's a really wonderful story, uh, and 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 Ruth ends up being the wife of a Boaz, and uh, and, and Ruth ends up being the great grandmother. I mean, uh, yes, the great grandmother of King David 
And out of King David's seed came Jesus Christ. And I don't know that Troy is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think... I'm close. I'm close. <laughs> But, but what this story is about is, is, is she was a person that was uh, most unlikely that God favored her, and through this marriage she was blessed. So the word of the Lord is set up to where it's not just a history book, that is stories, and it's just history. It's history, but it's also a living word. And if you... Look at yourself, any of you, if you look at yourself in stories of the Old Testament and New Testament, and you put your own life in there, and you start praying for the blessings that they were blessed with, and the prayers that are answered, that, that is answered in their lives, God can do it for you as well. Because Jesus loves us all, and he came to save sinners, and I'm so glad he did because I'm a sinner saved by his mercy and saved by his grace. So Jesus died for us and he is all of our greatest savior and husband. But Troy represents that as well. So now when uh, y'all have children, if you do, then we're going to have little Jesuses and all that. But, you know, I, I just want you to know that love through love, uh, you can really have whatever you desire in your heart and that's what these two people are doing today. They have love in their heart. And I don't know if they've prayed a lot, but I sure have prayed. I have. And Renee's Thank prayed. You. And Joyce, Renee's mother, which will always be my mother-in-law. She's gone to heaven. But she prayed that Heather would find a man. Listen to this. A man who loved her, like Melvin loved Joyce, and Melvin was Renee's father that was killed when Renee was three. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's so touching how that here we are, a family that has always felt a, an emptiness in our soul when we come to North Carolina. So to visit here, we did it very rarely because... Uh, uh, the, the life had changed a little bit. But now with them here, we're going to be able to come here and love and celebrate Matthews and Indian Trail in Charlotte, North Carolina, and come to the football games and the races or what have you. And it's just going to be wonderful and it's going to be glorious. So at this time, Renee, do you have the rings ready? Uh, if you would stand up and maybe stand <laughs> here beside Heather, and uh, I'm going to ask uh, Heather first, Heather Denae Thornton. I'm going to call you Thornton for the last time. So Heather Denae Thornton, will you, and when I get finished with this, all you have to do is say, I will or I do. Will you promise to love Troy and to cherish him through sickness, through health, through richer or poorer for all of the days of your life? If you do, say, I do or I will. I do. <laughs> Mr. Troy Spencer, we love you, brother. And will you take Heather to be your lovely wife? And do you promise to honor and cherish her and love her through sickness and in health, through good moods and bad <laughs> moods, uh, until death do, doth part? Say, I will or I do. All right. I would like, uh, Renee, you at this time to uh, give the rings. You, let me have the rings for a moment, and you receive Heather's flowers. And then, Heather, would you reach for Troy's ring, and would you place the ring on Troy's finger? This is 
unending, un, a circle that is representing unending love. It has no beginning <laughs> and it has no ending. And Troy, as I, as you place this ring upon Heather's finger, you are saying that you love her. <laughs> and this is a forever sign and symbol of eternal love. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Will it go on there? <laughs> yes. Now, uh, uh, Troy, uh, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Yay. Now, if y'all would face your friends and family, <gasps> ladies, <laughs> and gentlemen, can someone do the music? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Troy Spencer. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you all for watching. We love you. I want to go this way.